Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Poiggy here getting ready to take out the French D500 in Air Realistic. Um, great guns on it. It's got four guns, which is great for reserve, but man, this plane does not hold energy in Realistic. Uh, pretty tough to climb, pretty tough to accelerate, and uh, all that. But having said that, let's take it out and see what we can do. All right, so the map is counteroffensive. Got our stealth ammo, 800 meter targeting distance, minimum fuel load. Uh, looks like we're going to have ground vehicles that are going to be approaching there, so they're going to be a little bit farther on their side for the grounds. See who we got next to us. All pretty low level. That's good. Size 16 looks like he's trying hard to take off. Got this, buddy. Let's give him a little smoke. Keep the spirits up. All right, 125 mile per hour climb, which is not very steep in this plane. Teammate wants to say hi. Hi, buddy. Let's take a look at the map. So we're taking off down this way. They're gonna take off that way. So we'll go ahead and aim for the right side of their ground units, which we pretty much are. And who are we up against? Full game. Nice. Last time was 6v6. So we got 16 on either side. Merca, Germans, and Italy we're up against. Obviously, we got to be careful energy fighters because we really don't hold energy very well. Kind of debating whether we just jump into uh, the first plane that's lower than us that we can do something against or not. Typically, I'd say climb, 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 and uh, push their fighters down, but I'm not sure that's an option. So, looks like two bombers up high that aren't being shown yet. God, they got six. Interesting. I guess that Breta might be an attacker. Alright, we're starting to see a few of their fighters. Definitely like seeing P-26s. Little pea shooters. We don't have flaps, so we can't actually outmaneuver them, but I think we can outplay them if we have to. Our part on this with the big teams is going to be decide when to dive in. As soon as we do, we're going to be kind of stuck down on the ground. Best case scenario is none of them climb, so. We'll see. The other thing to do that I don't do often enough on the channel is take a look where your teammates are on the map so you know where to go for support. So they ain't going to be able to support us. Everybody who can support us is a little bit off to our left. So if we get in trouble, we know we want to go off that way. Alright, good news is everybody on the opponent's team dove. That helps us. Looks like this bread is setting up to uh, slot in behind our guys there. Don't want to dive in just yet because all three of these are going over looking for a target. Those two seem to be running away. And I'm not worried about my stun gun. Alright, let's go Stuka hunting. Everybody's stupid hunting. It's a stupid with the big guns. He's down. Might have enough energy to catch the Breta, but I'm not sure. Looks like he knows what he's doing. Which isn't good for your opponents to have going for them. Radar's pretty clear. Our buddy keeps shooting at him. He's smart enough to keep flying away, so let's turn back in and see if we can get some action. So, I don't want to get too mixed up with a group of them. We're outnumbered over there, so let's see if we can take this 112. Kind of peeled off on his own. Nice of him if he lets us slot in behind him. Couple 
hits. Keep him honest. He's down. Turn back towards the party. F3F looks like he's heading our way. He will outmaneuver us and uh, probably got better guns altogether. So I know my airfield's to the right if I get in too much trouble. But I think we need to kill him in our first uh, pass here. It's our best option. Got lucky on that one. I head over towards the Breda just because there's nothing good for us waiting over there. Let's see what they're down to. Three, four, five. We're about the same. So, Breda is on our way to our airfield. Um, he definitely is flying like he knows what he's doing. So, let's go try and take him out and uh, refuel, re engage. That's interesting. We've got a forward airbase. Nice. Oh, no, we don't. Just chasing him off the map. No point in that. So, what happens when you go off the map? So, when you go off the map, all the way off the map, it basically puts you back into the game facing towards the center. So, keep that in mind if you're chasing somebody. You might uh, have to flip around real quick. When he comes back in. Alright, a couple of them hit some ground units. Let's go check on this 109. We've got plenty of ammo left. Just get back in the game. Bombers got to the point where we're on their airfield, which is nice. It points out where it is to you. I'm just going to keep gathering energy up, getting ready for the next fight. Should be a 109 down there somewhere. see anybody on their airfield at the moment, but we'll keep an eye. They're down to just three now. Eh, yeah, screw it. They'll come find us when they want to fight. Let's go shoot some shit. So this is a very bad approach towards the AA. You want to come in low so they're not going to shoot at you. But sometimes we think making bad choices won't matter. Most of my adult life. Focus on the AAs first in case you get a chance to come back and uh, do some damage on the rest. Don't need these guys shooting at us. Hundred forty rounds of ammo left. Let's go ahead and do a vertical turn, try and keep a little bit of speed up in case we get bounced. If you didn't like that, if you don't like that, I don't much care what they think. Alright, 292 left on the ammo. I'm not gonna get down for the nose for that guy. So angry. Plenty of ammo. Let's just keep doing the line. Keep an eye on the radar too, making sure we're not getting jumped by that guy. 
guess I should save some ammo and fight him, but... Yeah, I should. Alright, let's go fight. So, I didn't turn all the way back to him because I want to keep a little bit of speed up. The angle he's coming in, I can turn left and make a miss, typically. Like so. Let's swim back over to the right. Hope he turns with me. So that's what he's not supposed to do. Little hit. Nothing big. He's got the pea shooter coming to support him. If he's smart, he'll just run and let the pea shooter come in. Good hit. Gritted him. Head on. Don't ever do head ons. And I'm out of ammo. Just gotta make the pea shooter miss till he dies. Keep our speed up best we can. And wait for that I-16 to come help us. Oh, no you didn't. Slap a motherfucker. Well, he had a decent run at it anyway. Surprised he got me, but he does have 50 cal, so... Can't be terribly surprised. Let's watch our I-16 make him pay. Nice. Well, we got sniped, but I don't think we're gonna do much else anyway. We're out of ammo, so we'll take it. So somehow we ended up with five kills. I don't know. Uh, I guess they would have given us a P36. We did do some good damage on them. So, uh, hey, hell yeah, we'll take that. So five kills, um, 10 ground units destroyed, just those AAs, first place on the team. And uh, we did die. <laughs> we got sniped out. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. Catch you on the next one. America! Fuck yeah to say this fucking day, yeah! Beautiful.